Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about the intentions of burglars and how to predict their behaviors. Now there's uh, two different kinds of thieves. There are burglars and there are robbers. Robbers are just the kind of people who uh, just pick any random house, they go in and they break in and they try to steal. A burglar is the kind of person who watches you. They will jog in your neighborhood. They will um, go to uh, right up to your door and bang on, you know, knock on the door of your house to see if you're home. And they'll do this repeatedly. They will continuously try to profile, you know, this house as a potential threat. Now, there are certain things that they actually look for, and that is the kind of house that is uh, really well taken care of. Like if they have a really beautiful lawn, or if they have any kind of, um, basically any kind of like wealth that that's uh, disposable wealth. Like you can afford to have your lawn taken care of, you can afford to have, um, you know, a really nice front yard, a really nice fence, and all that sort of stuff. So when you're making a public statement saying, I have money, the, that's what they're looking for. Middle class homes usually don't get hit because they are actually, uh, they're middle class homes. They don't really have a whole lot of possessions and valuables, but, but the houses that says, I have a lot of money inside my house. Those are the places where they're absolutely going to get hit. So another thing too is um, your windows are wide open. If you leave your house and you have windows that are just open so that, um, I mean big windows so that burglars can see inside of your house so that they can look down from the front, they can see all the way in the back, they can, you know, they can see all the valuable possessions, you know, they are going to mark that house as a potential, um, as, as potential. Most burglars don't really care about dogs because the dog is not going to be an alpha male because the house that the ha that a wealthy person has is usually not owned uh, is usually owned by somebody who has that alpha dog authority they have wealth they are you know they're passionate about you know building wealth and the dog is more than likely going to be like it's going to look in the window and then it's just going to go run away or try to find somebody you know so so that's what dogs you know you know can do Unless it's like an extremely big dog and it's extremely aggressive, uh, you know, the burglar is more than likely going to just uh, not even care about the dog. When criminals see a pattern inside of somebody's neighborhood, they avoid it like it's a plague because they don't want to get caught. Um, number one, if your neighborhood has a uh, neighborhood watch, then um, that person is going to get spotted. You know, that burglar is going to get noticed and they don't want that. They will go for a jog in that neighborhood and then they'll see neighborhood watch and they'll, they know who's neighborhood watch. So they'll look and they'll see and they'll know like, okay, that guy was here yesterday. He's looking at me and he's questioning if I'm a thief, then, you know, they won't come back to that part. So neighborhood watch can be very uh, effective for you know against these criminals. And um, another thing too is that a criminal. I mean, these people are just scumbags. You know, they 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 devote themselves so hard to to steal, and ama it would be amazing what they can accomplish if they just focus on doing really good things but anyway um, criminals will actually pay attention to see if your neighbors 
are you know interacting with you you know if they are social with you uh do you have contact with them do you go over do you talk to them you know because you know the more people that are you know aware of that you know who you are you know you're you're social with your neighbors get to know your neighbors you know just get out there knock on their front door and just say hey i live across the street next door i just wanted to introduce myself and say hello and then um you know and just you know sure and then you know just talk to them and and um the more neighbors within like three to four houses down or whatever you, you if you get to know your neighbors the burglars are going to know that and they're not going to want to go anywhere near that place because if your neighbors are watching you know outside and they're just and they can see that burglar somebody banging on the door they're going to call the house and they're going to see if you're home saying hey you know some guys banging on your door you know are you home and so it's good to it's good to get to know your neighbors also if you know your neighbors and they're not home a burglar you know when you know you know when they go home or when they go to work or when you know you can kind of tell like when they're not home well a burglar is going to you know pay attention when they're not home so if you see a burglar if you see a person going up you know they drive by they see the house and then all of a sudden like they stop to get out of the car and then they go knocking on their door don't be afraid to call the police don't be afraid to even take a picture of them because that is actually not illegal because you know your neighbor and you can you can do that sort of thing you built enough trust with them so um so again the whole emphasis is just getting to know your neighbors now um that's something that i have been meaning to do and i'm going to take the initiative and go and do that i actually heard one of my neighbors he was shooting off one of his guns and he just kept firing kept firing then he switched to something bigger and i'm like i gotta figure out who who that is because i want to go if i get to know my neighbors i can go shoot with them i could go like right across the street be like hey joe you know hey i got my new i, I got something i want to show you you know and we just build that relationship we build that friendship a matter of fact i actually when i was driving down the road i looked and I saw that a state trooper doesn't live too far away. I was like, maybe it's the state trooper. So if you know that your neighbor is a state trooper, that will give you some kind of sense of comfort and also know that like, that you are a law by. Most burglars are not actually looking to break into your home, tie you up and then, you know, uh, establish some kind of dominance you know over you they're looking to just break into the house and they want to steal so what you need to do is that you can actually go to now i got my mother um i got my mother one of these and it's actually a um it's actually something i you can buy at lowe's or home depot it is, I actually forget the name of the thing. In fact, maybe I'll just go, um, I have, I'm going to, let me take a look at it. I wanna, wanna tell you exactly what this thing is. And it's behind, oh, it's in a difficult location, but I believe it's called an iris. And the iris is something where you can plug a an appliance you can apply you can plug in a lamp an appliance and you can um you can actually download the iris app and schedule a timer to act, uh, to go on and so i my you know my mom would get home and hours that uh, you know it's it's totally dark it, it would be like dark in the front dark in the, in the side and dark inside the house and i'm like no way we're not doing that i'm getting you something so that you feel you know secure when you want when you come home and uh and so now like she's comforted that like the light comes on 
and that when you know it gets to a certain point the light will turn off and uh, it does it all by itself the app is free and um, it's when you download the app they're going to try really really hard to get you to, to purchase the full um, version of it and if you just keep skipping along it you can get to the settings Criminals actually, they're pretty smart. They know that there are certain, there are certain security systems, and I have to look into this to see if, if they've caught on with it. But there are certain security systems that when you cut the, when you cut the power to them, or if you cut the communications, the alarm doesn't go off, which I think is a very, very big problem. But if you have a cellular security system and the power gets cut then that goes directly to the police station the, and they and they know that so uh it's a really sad thing like these these people they they know what they know what they want and they try really really hard to steal and break into people's houses it's a terrible thing <laughs> Uh, that actually happened to me years ago, years ago when we were living in New Bedford and uh, somebody broke into our house and robbed us. Uh, well, they stole, they stole money from us. You know, they stole from our, you know, inside of our house. It was, it was a terrible feeling and um, it was awful. So, um, and they never, they never found out who did it. They never caught him. But. You know, God will catch him. So when you're outside, you're out about, and you happen to see somebody drive by, and they are looking very carefully. They're looking around at people's houses. They're looking around. Then you have to then call the police. Take a take a photograph of them. You know, if it scares you to take a photograph, and if it scares you to um, to to call the police. To so take a photo and to call the police, I encourage you to do that. Do that one thing that scares you because you will be surprised how there nothing will happen. The police will come over, and this actually happened to me when I came when I was living in New York and I visited my my mother. I was up late and I was uh, I heard something, and I and I didn't know what it was, but it was actually somebody's. I thought somebody broke into somebody else's car. Like, it was just such a loud bang, and the alarm went off, and I I couldn't make out what was going on. So I called, I called 911, and I'm like, look, I don't know what just happened, but I think somebody just tried to break into my neighbor's car. Can you please send somebody over? And they're like, sure, no problem, right away, and then boom. And um, um, so they sent, they sent a car, and, and it drove by, and it looked around. They didn't come in, they didn't ask me, they didn't do anything like that. But they just, um, um, I don't actually, mm, I, I don't know if I called 911. I may have just called the sheriff's office or the local police, whatever which one, but I don't think I called 911. Um, because I wasn't sure what was happening, it wasn't, I wasn't sure if it was an emergency. <laughs> Okay, so let's recap on this whole thing. Number one, burglars are, they study you. They study you, they profile you, they, they want to know, is this person going to be uh, worth my time uh, robbing? You know, they're going to be looking to see if your windows are, are wide open, you know, during the daylight, you know, and you, you have, you know, your, all your possessions and all your valuables are just like out on display and says, come and rob me. Or you have, or you have trying, you're trying to make a statement to the public as they drive by that I have lots of money inside my house. You know, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that, you know, they cannot, you know, see inside of your house. You know, blinders are really good. And also, like, if you're going to be gone for a couple days or whatever, then uh, keep, a, keep a light on, like, in the middle of your house. That way it looks like somebody's home. Or use the iris timer. 
and have it set off so that it goes off like and it, like you know and have have like that so that you can uh deter them so then the second part is to uh, burglars will pay attention to see if you are social with your neighbors to see if you are interactive if they are interactive with you if you're interacting with the other neighbors, if you guys have, like, if your kids' neighbors play with each other, if you guys are, they're going to avoid that place because they don't want to get caught. Again, burglars do not want to encounter people. They want to, they want to burglarize your home. They want to go in, they want to take what's valuable to them, and they want to get out. So if you are displaying social activities, you know, if you're, if you're putting out, if you are putting out flyers they actually look for this they, if you put out flyers like like on a like on somebody's mailbox you know hey let's get together let's you know let's socialize you know and, and you make it like some you're displaying some kind of event they are going to take notice about that and they are going to avoid those neighborhoods so the third thing if you happen to see somebody that looks suspicious and you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about you know somebody looks suspicious I had a guy this morning he was walking down the road he looked kind of weird and I just kind of like he had his head down and he wasn't really looking around but I just kept my eye on him and I was like okay he's got long straggly hair he's not in a hurry to go anywhere I'm gonna remember that this guy walked past my house I didn't get a good look at his face at all but I got a idea of what his build was and he's got long straggly hair and and he was wearing a jacket and it was he was wearing a jacket and it was really really nice outside that's another thing too if you happen to notice that a suspicious person is wearing uh like it's really really nice outside and they got like a long jacket on or if they got like a trench coat on or if they got some kind of like warm clothes Clothing that's meant for like warmer weather, fall weather. They're hiding something. They're trying to do something. They may even have weapons on them. Call the police. Don't even, don't even hesitate to do something like that. Okay? So that is absolutely um, something you, you really, really should do. And also, if you happen to see your neighbors, uh, somebody is banging on the door. Like at the early morning hours, right after they leave, if somebody comes up to their door and they're banging on the door, then um, call the police. You know, if you know, and 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 if they're consist, if they're persistently banging on the door, banging on their bang, 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 and they're just banging on that door, they want to know is somebody in this house. You know, then call the police. You know, take a get your camera out, take a photo of them. And if, you know, the police show up and they take off, you've got evidence, criminal evidence that that person, you know, tried to break in and you had some kind of, like, uh, proof about it. Um, here's another thing, too. Um, you know, all these thoughts are just coming to my head. This video just keeps going on and on and on. Uh, my mother's neighbor came over and she told my mom that uh, she saw some guy doing this like he was actually going walking up and down like on this street where like in the somewhat country area but this this guy was walking up and down the street and he was checking everybody's doorknobs just going up to the house it's locked going up to the next house locked and her neighbor was watching this So she called the police and she said, hey, there's this guy, he's going down everybody's house and seeing if the doors are locked. You know, that's the time, like, I have a camera, like, in the house, I have it on standby because we have animals that, like, come in the backyard, we have birds, and we have all sorts of things. The camera's also there, if somebody is doing something suspicious, you get the camera on and take a picture of them, and then... They're done because I got photo ID. You're now on my property and you're not supposed to be there. And um, God, there's so many valuable things. Like if you just educate yourself and you just fill your mind with knowledge. You know, the Bible says that people perish. He actually says my people perish for lack of knowledge. And that's more related towards um, the 
the knowledge of everything, really, you know, sin and prosperity and just um, being wise and all that sort of stuff. You know, when you, the people, they, they perish because they have no vision, they have no, uh, they don't think about the future, they don't, they don't have any knowledge. So fill your head with knowledge, okay? Subscribe to this channel and I'll give it to you, alright? My name is Ricky Burrows and, um... I, I love doing all this stuff. I, I really hope that this is going to help somebody take action to think about, you know, have a sense of awareness that y it's your life and you have every right to defend it and every right to protect it. And you live in a free country if you live in America. A very privileged country. I'm proud of it. So. All right, guys, uh, like and subscribe. I am thrilled about these videos and I'm going to keep producing them for you. And I hope that you just uh, are blessed by it.